Oh, I feel like utter rubbish. <sighs> what has gotten into me? I mean, I am pregnant <laughs> again. Hi guys. I'm so sorry this isn't exactly a positive start to my video, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling. I struggle to get ready at the moment. I struggle to look in the mirror in the mornings. Not every day, and sorry, I'm so emotional. This video is going to take a turn for the better, okay? Because this is about positivity, <laughs> funnily enough, and how to look, oh my goodness, my nose is running. About how to look and feel confident, and I have some amazing tips and things I wanna share with you, but it just so happens that each morning I wake up and I don't feel great at the moment because, as you may know, I'm pregnant seven and a half months so I give birth in about nine weeks eight nine weeks and I have a one-year-old birdie blue and I have to say this pregnancy has been totally different to my first my pregnancy last year I feel a lot more stressed I feel a lot more emotional my hormones are through the roof I just sometimes I just have to go to bed in the evenings because I feel so agitated it's exactly the same feeling I had when I was on the pill years ago but do you know what it's mind over matter for me. I don't let this rule my life. I don't, don't get me wrong, it's fine. And I'm not gonna apologize for the, the hours or the days that I spend in bed. Um, but that hasn't been much because I do like to change my mood and get into a positive mindset. So this is going to be how I do that in under 30 minutes. Right now my bath is running and I'm gonna make myself a coffee and come right back and we're gonna get into this and um, what's that Rihanna meme? This person interviewing her is like, what do you do on the days that you don't feel confident? And she's like, pretend. I mean, what am I gonna do? It's either that or cry in my bed all day. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend, but actually this little routine and the things I'm gonna be sharing with you genuinely make you feel confident from the inside out. So I'm looking forward to just getting into the thick of a little drugstore tutorial actually with L'Oreal Paris and I've got some amazing things to share with you. The charities they support and also some little products that I'm loving. <laughs> I'm gonna get my coffee. Right, I'm back. Feeling better because I have my coffee and I've had a little bath. Just a 10 minute soak is all I needed to just refresh. I put some essential oils in there. Well, not essential oils, just some like de-stress drops. <laughs> Made my bed, that always makes me feel better. Don't really have an appetite in the morning, so I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And I wanted to show you guys this book because I haven't read in years, but I've sent this in PR and it's the You Are Powerful, The Secret to Everyday Manifestation. So that's one of my tips. It's really good. I've just completed it within a week, so I'm gonna move on to another one now. Um, but it's made me feel really positive each morning, waking up, just reminding myself that I am powerful. And it's just a really good guidebook to self-confidence and how to manifest what you want in life. Yeah, it's really, really good. And on that note, so let's get into foundation actually. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Plumping Tinted Serum. And this is a brand new bottle actually. I've been loving this because it's like skincare and foundation in one, which is what we all need when we're feeling like we need a pick me up or we wake up crying or if you're like me, and I've been looking in the mirror and I'm like, my skin, it's just, I don't know my face. <laughs> Sometimes I look in the mirror at the moment and I don't even recognize myself and it's really, it's getting me down. Oh, that's making me look a lot more radiant already. It's a very quick and easy makeup tutorial on how I go from zero to 100, like I said, in under, well, this is probably gonna be a 15 minute makeup tutorial to be quite honest with you. So if you're getting ready for work or you're getting ready for an interview, or you just wanna make yourself feel refreshed at home, then try these products, follow this little makeup tutorial and feel your baddest self. <laughs> By bad, I mean good. <laughs> I have no mirror. I'm doing this without a mirror. So going back to self-confidence. Now I've been doing um, a bit of work with the Prince's Trust alongside L'Oreal Paris for past year I'd say and I don't talk loads online about it because some of the workshops um, that I do and the work that I do has been behind the scenes. I have to admit sometimes I feel like a bit of a fraud because I'm helping young people to feel confident and to reassure them to go for their dreams and sometimes I feel like oh my goodness like imposter syndrome to the max because I 
I feel like my life is crumbling some days. <laughs> but that's where it's important for me to be honest because I'm human, you know, I feel like sometimes you guys really think I have it together and I don't. Like I've experienced so many knockbacks, so many disappointments. Everyone's got their own experiences and you just don't realize how much these experiences shape you, but you can change your narrative. So even though it shapes you and it can make you a stronger person, it can knock your confidence completely. What I am an advocate for is taking control yourself. Now don't get me wrong, it's not as easy as it sounds. However, with the right support and with the willingness to change your mindset and to take the reins of your life and that is why the prince's trust is incredible um and i would encourage you guys to look into it as well do you know what i'm gonna do i had a zoom recently which i think was recorded and i'm going to insert a little bit of a conversation between myself and this gorgeous girl megan um and our experiences a little bit about what l'oreal paris does alongside the prince's trust and how it's helped her how it can help you because at the end of the day I feel like this is a little bit more of a vulnerable video <laughs> and hopefully if I'm allowed to insert the zoom into this then it can really help someone so I just used the L'Oreal perfect match true match eye cream in a concealer it's got hyaluronic acid in loving the makeup and skincare combo products and then on to this little bad boy that went viral on TikTok. One of my videos was one of them. This is insane. This is like the powder, the uh, 24 hour fresh wear infallible foundation and a powder. You can just wear this without any foundation or base, but um, I like to use this to set my makeup. Oh, I forgot that a little bit goes a long way. There was actually a part in the conversation we were talking about self-confidence. I'll insert it here actually, when I was having the Zoom with Megan to just explain a little bit about the Prince's Trust and what we were chatting about. <laughs> and I, I feel like confidence comes from what makes you feel good, what you enjoy and um, that's why it feels like such an amazing partnership between L'Oreal Paris because they've always had the tagline it's because you're worth it and obviously the prince's trust make, you know empowering young people making them feel like they're worth it really getting to the root of how they can help people kind of overcome any fears the, the prince's trust they obviously have a big mission in helping people to to obviously gain confidence and i think l'oreal paris have been teamed up with the Prince's Trust now for five years and have put in more than 1.5 million. Yeah, we did like interview techniques, um, what we think we're good at, you know. Um, it's quite good because it's, it's, you know, it's not really focusing necessarily on anything that we would say is bad within ourselves. It's, it is really everything is like, you know, what are you good at? What do you enjoy? No, like dwelling on anything that's just not worth it. Some people can forget when they're obviously got this huge goal in mind that they've done so well to overcome that first step. Actually, yeah, that is, oh, that is so important to celebrate each step, each little victory, each win. And for me, I'm celebrating that I got up, I had a bath, I had a coffee and I'm right here chatting to you. And I'm proud of myself for that because how this video started and how my days and moods are kind of, yeah, what's going on with them lately. I just have to remind myself that each little win is huge. It means a lot to me, it's important. And it should mean a lot to you as well. By the way, guys, I've just used the Golden Beige Infallible Fresh Wear Powder as my bronzer. And I'm now moving on to brows using the Skinny Definer Brow Artist. I found it so interesting talking to Megan about her experiences and she completed the All Worth It sessions um, with the Princess Trust alongside L'Oreal Paris. Anyone can, so of course I'll leave all the links in the description and encourage you to, yeah, just reach out, sign up, have a little explore and take that first step. As Megan said, she was really anxious and she actually didn't turn up to her first session. I think it's just on Zoom actually or just online. Um, but once she did, she felt great and... I'm so proud of her, she's proud of herself. She feels like she's gained the confidence that she needs when going to that interview and taking uh, the next step to get the job that she wants. We all deserve the best for ourselves.
I've learned a lot of lessons in business this year. I'm thinking about actually filming a video to do with it because it's put me through a lot of stress and turmoil. At one point I thought I was gonna lose everything. And do you know what, if I did, well, when I say everything, I guess I'm talking about like money, investments, potentially our house. I would still have my family, I'd still have Buzzy, I'd still have Birdie, my little baby, but money does bring a lot of stress, doesn't it? Um, but we have to remember what is truly important. I kept positive, I manifested, did what I could to remain calm and composed throughout the whole thing. We've come out at the other end and we're celebrating because I didn't lose it all. But I truly think it's because I stayed calm and didn't let it rule my life or take over, even though at times it definitely could have done. So taking these workshops and speaking to Megan and other people like her, it really ex inspires me because it's through like power of the people and experiences and talking to one another, like the importance of talking to someone, I cannot tell you, you know, whether that's your therapist, your mum, your partner, your dog. It's just so important because when you actually talk things through out loud, you get them out of your system and you feel like you can move on. And I don't know, that's when the epiphanies happen for me as well. Like it makes things feel like they're not actually as big of a deal as I made it out in my head. Do you know what I mean? Never be ashamed to do what you need to do to get the motivation. I mean, to be fair, I'd always say that I don't think motivation even exists. I think motivation is just sitting there waiting for the urge to do something you don't wanna do. Well, you're wasting your time. Just force yourself to do it. Just force yourself. It sounds unpleasant, but like, you don't want to get out of bed. What are you waiting for? Waiting to want to get out of bed. Well, you might not want to get out of bed for hours. <laughs> so there's like this little method where you do like the countdown and then blast off. I don't know, this like lecture online spoke about it. I just came across it on a YouTube video and they said they just count down from 10, nine, eight, down to zero and then say blast off, they get out of bed. And they're like, if I don't get out of bed then, then there's no hope. <laughs> but they do every time and I tried it and it worked. I love this little blush. It's the Life's a Peach blush from L'Oreal. I don't think I'm gonna go for highlight today. I just wanna have a soft, matte, flawless complexion, maybe a bold lip and a wing. After all, this is literally my quick turnaround to look and feel confident. And we're not gonna go for any kind of cut crease or glittery eye as much as I love that. I've literally used like three products so far and I have my full base done. <laughs> That's amazing. Four products. <laughs> Are you off now? <laughs> Give mummy a cuddle. Are you about to go swimming? Swimming! <laughs> this little girl gives me happy, positive, confident vibes, don't you? When she's not crying or grumpy. <laughs> no, all the time. And when you don't scratch me, please. What's this scratching about? Mwah. Silly. <gasps> Oh my goodness, we need to nip that in the bud. <laughs> She's off swimming with Auntie Rax. So I'll see you when I get home from work. My little hat is too cute. Have fun. Oh, my little birdie. Such a little madam, I tell you. She's turned one and she's developing an attitude. <laughs> but it's all part of the beauty, I guess, of raising a little sassy girl and who knows who's in here, guys? Seven months pregnant. Sorry, I can't properly show you my bump right now, but I'm doing a gender reveal this Sunday, so stay tuned. Can't wait to share it with you. Um, let's move on to eyeliner. So I'm gonna go very simple. We're gonna do a sharp wing, but I'm loving brown liner lately. So this is the waterproof eyeliner by L'Oreal Perfect Slim in the shade brown, 03 brown. I'm gonna try and just confidently do one sweep Wonder, like so. Oh yeah. And then we only have mascara and lips left to do. And actually me and Megan spoke about how putting on your lipstick can make you feel so confident. And it's a statement. I feel like if you're going to a job interview or going out or you just want to pretend, you know, put on a front, pretend that you're confident, put on a bold lip perhaps a red or a berry, whatever your jam is. And I feel like it gives off the message that you're fearless. 
I love the lipstick that Megan wore when we were on our little Zoom together. And it's Mahogany Studs and it is so cute. Oh, <laughs> so confidence, self-love, beauty. It, it's, there's no problem with saying it's from the inside and out and putting on a face of makeup to me. One, it's therapeutic because it calms me down when I'm anxious. I actually did a get ready with me in labor because it calmed my nerves. <laughs> mascara i'm gonna try this telescopic mascara actually went viral on tiktok the l'oreal paris telescopic mascara and everyone's lashes looked insane so will it do the same for mine separating and lifting my lashes it's the second coat that makes the difference you can really build up now on to lips so i'm going to use the l'oreal paris colorish lip liner in s'il vous plaît so we're going for a very bold red. I love, I only overline my kind of Cupid's bow now, just so it gives them a lift. I hope you've got somewhere to go now. You've got that makeup and that lipstick on. I know. Well, I might be seeing a boy later. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the Mason Murray red lipstick. Wow, that's incredible. Oh, absolutely. We have like the berry red and the true red and it just adds a little bit more dimension and depth. I never match my lip liner to my lipstick. Let's use a little bit of gloss in Maximize. It's so glittery and cute. Oh wow, my lips are gonna look like glass. What a gorgeous combo. Makeup done guys. I just need to sort my hair out and I have a little tip for when <laughs> You can't bother to do your hair and you need a quick fix to feel confident in a few seconds, literally. Okay, so I have my hair in this like weird low bun. Can't be bothered to even do anything more with it because it's gonna be flat enough when I whip my wig on. So <laughs> I do this most days when I am in a rush, I'm going out and especially in the winter time, this little hack is amazing if you don't wanna snatch the front of your wig as well. So when I say this takes seconds, I'm not lying. I mean, to be fair, the hairline is absolutely fine. I could probably wear it without a hat, but it's cold today. So I'm gonna whip on my little beanie. I'm actually off to the studio doing a writing camp um, for my next single, working with amazing producers and writers today. And I absolutely do need to pretend to feel my best self today. I mean, I feel a million times better now I've done my feel good routine and spoken to you guys, but yeah, wow. How this video started to how I feel and look now is just better. <laughs> I am living for this makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed this guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that it's encouraged you to just snap out of your mood, know that we're in this together. And of course, if you want any help in your self-confidence confidence journey, there's your All Worth It sessions by L'Oreal Paris in association with the Prince's Trust, which I'll leave linked below, which have helped so many. And I'm so proud to be working alongside incredible people and an incredible foundation and brand as well. So here we are, we've gone from zero to 100. Please do subscribe. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. I'll be replying to your comments below. And as always, it's a pleasure working with L'Oreal Paris and partnering with them, especially on special videos like this. I mean, I hope that they don't mind that I kind of had a breakdown at the beginning, but this is life at the moment. And I never know how I'm gonna feel, but I feel better now. And I hope that you do too. I've got lipstick on her teeth, only a little bit. Actually, let me show you my outfit before we go. This is my outfit, by the way, guys. It's quite cute, isn't it? A little jumper, skirt, tights. I'm gonna wear some boots. I haven't worn anything like this in a while, so I'm feeling fresh and new, trying something different. I guess I better go and write a hit for you guys in the studio, so I'll see you on the next one. Love you lots. Bye.